quitting social media would be the ultimate solution to so many of my problems. But I soon realized that social media isn't the problem. It's me. My aim for getting rid of social media was to try and cure some of my narcissistic traits. I thought it would help, and it did for a while. But then these habits kind of resurfaced and manifested in different areas of my life. Obviously, I still used YouTube, and lots of people argue that is social media, and as someone who creates stuff on YouTube, I view it a little bit differently. For me, there's more of a production side to it. Month one. So I had that really weird feeling of being on the outside or being off the grid, even though I wasn't really with YouTube. And at first I thought I would get FOMO, fear of missing out, but I actually didn't. And it felt like a great excuse for me to really acknowledge that I don't give a shit about what anyone else is doing in their life, to be honest. And that sounds horrible, but the thing is, just because I don't care about what you do on social media doesn't mean I don't care about you as a person. In summary, people didn't know about the irrelevant, mindless shit I got up to and I didn't give a shit about what they were up to. It was quite lovely. I got this instant sense of relief and it felt like I was stepping back from all this noise. Another thing was that I felt like I didn't have to live up to this curated image that I had made for myself. I know this sounds really dramatic, but you know, when you take photos and you pose nicely, it kind of makes it hard to live up to in real life. In some cases it can be incredibly fake. And even the most authentic people, well, I like to think of myself as quite honest on YouTube. You can talk to people who've met me in real life. I'm pretty much identical online. Maybe a bit more open on YouTube actually than to my friends. <laughs> this is me, just unfiltered, but on Instagram, you know, pardon the pun, but you know, you have the filters and you have the false image that people are creating. Everyone is comparing their personal lows to the highlights that everyone else puts out. It's kind of like I got a clone of myself and I dressed her up all pretty and I did her makeup and everything and I sent her into a room and closed the door and that's just like my phone, you know? I send out a picture but I'm always wondering what people are thinking. What are people thinking of her? I just can't stay out of it. I have to walk into the room constantly. I just couldn't close the door. Well, I feel like three months later I'm much more secure in myself. Month two, return to regularity. So by this point, I was pretty used to not having social media. Some people were still asking and going, oh my goodness, you don't have social media. Anyone who I wanted to talk to, I either talked to them in real life send them an email, or I just added them on Messenger, but I didn't have my account affiliated with a Facebook account, I just used my phone number. Although I can talk to my closest friends in real life, I found it a bit harder to communicate with you guys because, yes, I can talk to you in the comments, but it's much harder to interact. One large benefit for social media is that I get to have more interaction with you guys, which I think is quite valuable, and I miss that a lot, actually. I would rely on social media as a crutch in any instance that I got slightly bored. So having this three month hiatus has actually broken those loops where I automatically go to social media. So I think if I were to return to social media, I wouldn't feel so addicted and inclined to visit these websites. Month three, the itch. Not an STD, I promise. <laughs> this is when the charm of having no social media started to wear off a bit. I started to feel that my little narcissistic creature kind of resurface again. I just felt like sharing a picture of myself, goddammit. I'm superficial and I'm a narcissist, I can't help it, okay? I am a vapid young girl, please forgive me. I can just say I'm appreciating my youth. Because they say youth is wasted on the young, so I might as well appreciate my skin while it's not wrinkly yet. So for a long time I didn't actually care about what everyone else was up to and I was just kind of enjoying being away from the noise and just having time to myself but then I started to feel like I actually wanted to see what people were up to and lots of my friends have gone off to university or overseas to different schools and I just want to see what they're up to. I don't know why I viewed it through this lens of it being absolutely pernicious and terrible because 
for the most part it's actually quite fun. I'm quite a visual person and I really enjoy seeing beautifully laid out Instagram feeds and people's beautiful photography and their fashion. Yeah, I miss that, okay? I hate to admit it, I feel like I've betrayed myself from three months ago when I made a promise to quit, but I think I did pretty well to stick through for over three months without social media, especially as a vapid teenage girl, I managed to make it, so good on you, I guess. I kind of drifted from the original purpose and it kind of became a sort of subtle brag. I don't have social media, look, I'm so different, wow, and it, that wasn't the intention. But the, I feel like it came off that way, so the final verdict. Did quitting social media for three months improve my life? Yes and no. Now I find it much easier to discern between what is actually valuable and worth my attention and what is just complete noise, just absolute garbage. One thing that I'm learning now is to create boundaries and distance between myself and all that noise. But quitting social media can only go so far. All this external noise can be limited. What is more important is the internal noise. That is something that people do not talk about. It does matter who you follow and how long you spend on your social media apps every day, but it's not nearly as important as the mindset that you bring to it. Moral of the story, social media is neutral. Will I return to social media? And the answer is, but on one condition, I won't join social media unless someone makes me a fan page. <laughs> You don't have to do that. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm not making you. Shut up, Emmy. <laughs> Sorry to everyone who I said that I was quitting it forever. Unrealistic, Emmy, unrealistic. I will need to set some strict rules and I will have to adhere to them. Do you mother huckers better not forget to make me that fan page? <laughs> I'm joking, don't do that. That's, that's, unless you want to.